This is war. Yoruba nation. Yoruba nation. This is Ensu Luomo, Lagos, Agbero. Tinubu's boy. This is war. War. Sunday go. Yes, they are ready. They are ready. Ensu Luomo is ready. They are ready. Anything. Enyo to back panyo. Oh my god, a panyo. Enyo to back shaker. Oh my god, a shaker for me. about to watch what you have never seen before. MC Oluomo, for those who do not know who he is, is called Musiliu. That is his name. He is a thug and called Agbero. Motopak Thout. But he has advanced up like many of them do. He, he is a political thug. He is one of the boys, one of the major boys of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the APC presidential candidate. And you know what? I'm going to be here with you. We are going to watch. We are going to listen to what he has to say. And do not forget to like and share this video. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new here. And if you're a returning subscriber or you've been here with us all the way, I say thank you for returning and thank you for being here. MC Oluomo, he said, Yoruba Nation is against Izoga Bola Metunubu. What does that mean? It means Sunday Bowo, any Yoruba Nation agitator, is his enemy. This is what it is. And like I said at the beginning, this is war. Let us get right into it. It's no consignment. Eyan to ba nse ka o ma pada se ka fun ni Eyan to ba nba to mo lo mo je o ma pada gba to mu eje ni Eyan to ba nse dada to no meju eyan nu Olorun o ba ma pada sanu ohun na That is Ashwadi Bola Ahmed Tinubu lo wo eyan ti Ashwadi Bola Ahmed Tinubu to ti gbe jade lori se rese e so po gbo mo ni mo to jade o gbe kini ko jade gba ka wo ko o mo ye lo ti eyan to nje hun be in 36 states no way, a lot, a lot, a lot. Nino Kotawa Denny, no one bat you wa, no one bat me, ni, no one bat me. So, yes, you only need a lot bear. I try my best, believe me. A new conk party won't need, won't send it to my sick of Taye to my soft coin. No, 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 Believe me, please. I hear you. I'm not following your bad day. I'm feeling that you're bad. You want to buy rubber? The summer long more. Not to buy rubber? The summer well. You want to buy shell? No more long more. Not to buy my shell? No more tea. No. So you're near abroad. Let me wear a John Tory or long. I'm following your bad day. I just can't buy a coupon. Can't be a show. I'm not a major team. I'm not. Can't be. Get you go there. Nigeria. Can they want to be a dura? Cafeti. We call on our beloved Mary. Who she do a new one? Who she will not let you like Borolo? We must parank our way, y'all. Believe me, we must parank our way, y'all. But we go ahead. I go to Jebure. I go to Bafun. We long walk back. Let her in your con. Come on, you are not late. Shake me. Go let Nalu Barika. I condemn you. I do not want to meditate no more. I condemn you. Believe me, because I was so much. One lie, most of my one. But the more in and out, and it's so fake on me. And it's your fair coffee at your molo money. And it's your fair come in your sorry brocuni. I will not any touch right with Benny Day, Cosheka, I will not in your Lodis Rishi, a woe. But be your touch right with Big Adi, touch right with his sword in your. I see who and me, Kawano, they saw a Oriel, Kali Sophon. The body meets about Duro Tashua, they will not in ninety nine. In your book, Mulla party, Mary Layemi. A young Roro, who showed you Lemeji. A Lerimi party, me, in more while not to utter the clan you wanted you to a quick cut on the Mogbasano, Nibba Junata. And it about not see Cotimo soy, utter the clan you wanted you. Nimash, 
match ni mo ti se eh ba temi ni mura nigba yen mo to pada di nba tele se oku ti rejes a de duro awa ni leni an so dale e fa won awon okon wa ase wo ni won te ba ri won ni pdp leni e ri won le pc lola e ri won labja lola e ri won nene kini ko lola no ti wa ori be our mandate o stand pa believe me believe lo ro aso aju e ya wa ko nbe awa le fa so aju le tayi ma fi pare awon e yo ba so pe iku wa jo ku awe wa jo gba e yo ni muslim do ma ki so yo mo muslim ma baby e yo mi ko nbe aso aju ma tele to de ko e ba bu mi e ba ni talk ni mi e ba no talk iwo to ba ri mi bi ti mo ti se talk mo jade e mo ko ta won se ma bu mi pe talk ni ye ti asiwaju gbe eh eh ki lo ruko oga efcc no 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 eh ni badu ni gba ta asiwaju gbe ri badu jade ta ba ku oleko amantel asiwaju ka kire rally to ba lo se ngba to gbe ri badu jade ta won eyan ba ti re wa bo yo nsu enu tvc I saw you play early. I want to give you a lot of tele. I saw I'm a tele. I saw you lost any year. Never touch you. I do to feel the bad do le. Touch you back to go jade. That one car carry lo. I want you know me. If I touch you, I do. To go burn your body soon. Don't soon. I saw you to be born the jade. I want you know that one tele one car carry. To be born the wallet. Se eyan o ma ko se eyan rara yi pe ikalele abi kini ko lele no le ko se eyan lara o awon le ba so pe do your best and leave the rest asuaju ma se iko to le se iko to ba le se lo ma se e wo gba to tun gbe atiku jade ko si bi ta lo a lo ilorin a lo bi ni a lo ikiti a lo ndo a lo yo a lo abekuta a lo kanu a lo gbogbo e nigba yen ati ku tu ku ni apc o tu bo si pdp eyin bo ipa siwaju ko nbi kan ri ni latori ag acn lati acn apc sha siwaju ko nbe ri eh eyin eyan mi eyan lolufe mi lokunrin lo birin lo mode lagba emi fo olohun ba be yi did you hear now, there are people who are saying, let us first support a Yoruba man. Then we can start talking about breakup of Nigeria. We can start talking about Yoruba nation. Let us support an Igbo man. Then, thereafter, then we can begin to talk about Biafra, Igbo nation. This is a talk out there. And one would wonder, what does a Yoruba man, Fulani Ausa, Igbo man, being president of Nigeria, what does it do? What does it have to do with the progress? Are you saying none of these tribes have been president or head of state? Are you saying that they've not been governors in their state? What are we talking about here? What value is it going to add? Does it make you feel better that a Yoruba man is president and you walk around Nigeria, you go into the bank and say, give me loan. Yoruba man is the president. Are you going to go to the north of Nigeria and say, I want to take this piece of land to rear pigs because a Yoruba man is president of Nigeria? Are you going to the embassy and say, now a Yoruba man is the president. Igbo man is the president. I need visa. I need to be recognized. I want my passport to be recognized as visa free. How does this add value to your life? It is simply called sectional aggrandizement, tribal aggrandizement, where people believe or feel or have this false notion that having someone from their own region as head of state or president had value to them, gives them that extra, whereas it is nothing. It's going to just probably boost the ego of the so-called president, and um, criminals around him and his family, they are the ones who are going to benefit from it, not you. You will have nothing to benefit. Your life will remain the same and you have nothing to do for the next eight years. It's often difficult to kick out presidents 
because it's going to make sure that whoever has the muscle to disturb or create issues for him will be kicked out. It will bring in people that he believes will work with him how he wants it. And once he hears or sees any form of derailment, the next thing he's going to do is to what? Kick out the person, sack the person. Well, this is what it is. 2023, it is a do or die affair. Bola Metinubo is heading towards that seat and he believes that that seat belongs to him. I know that the likes of Obasanjo and the rest of them are working behind the scene with certain individuals, but as it sits now, as it is now, even Obasanjo does not have mouth anymore. Unless it's going to call for military takeover, which he won't want to spearhead anyway. Unless he wants to do this before his demise. That is it. Bola met in the way PC, they are working real hard. And we've heard some vituperations right, left and center. Um, name calling and many things. You see, even Buhari that came to campaign for Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, um, there are certain things that were expected of him to have said in a way that he should say it. But he's also trying to be, you know, he's trying to play it in a way so that when he retires, he'll be able to sit down amongst the criminals like himself. You know, criminals. Yes, these are thieves who pretend to be a better thief or people of integrity than the other. It's so sad. This is what we have on our hands. You know, uh, Sunday Duo is where he is. And I'm sure there is no government that will allow Sunday Duo return. It is just not possible because Sunday Duo is not going to return and shut his mouth. It will be like they fed him and he has been betrayed. This is a journey sometimes of no return. Unless you are ready to shut your mouth like Masob Lita Uazurike. Look at Nandekanu. If they release him, if he opens his mouth, they will pick him again. And this will be his demise. They will make sure they humble you because they have the resources. So, it is a do or die affair. And these people have mechanisms ready to fight. Don't forget to like and share this video. Do not forget to subscribe if you are just coming across this channel. And for those who are returning subscriber or you have been here, I say thanks for returning and thanks for being here.